friends got trapped in a hot sauna, the temperature is rising, and a small window is the only way to escape. The main character, Jenna, gets into a fatal accident with her fiancé right before the wedding. The girl survives, but her lover takes the brunt of it and dies. After the death of the groom, the girl cuts everyone out of her life and replaces communication with real people with her passion for photography. Three years have passed since the accident. Ren, Jenna's best friend, invites her to spend the weekend by the lake to get her out of her depression. Together with them, Ren's boyfriend Michael and his best friend Jan also go on vacation. The guys get on a boat to cross the lake and get to the rest house. Michael is having fun at the helm, accelerating the boat to maximum speed and entering sharp turns. All this scares Jenna very much, so Ren asks her boyfriend to behave calmly. When the company approaches the shore, Michael informs his friends that today is a pagan holiday, on the occasion of which the locals arrange a festival. Ian admits to a friend that he sympathizes with Jenna, but Michael warns him that things are not so simple with an traumatized girl. The arriving company is met by Jan's uncle, named Weld, who rented the holiday house for friends. He treats the guys with meat and introduces his dog named Bo. Jenna refuses to drink and separates from her friends to take antidepressants. She is still reeling from her tragic accident and finds it hard to have fun with everyone. She picks up a bottle of pills pills, but does not dare to take them. However, at dinner, the girl relaxes and asks Jan about his life. The guy says that he is fond of journalism and is going to write in the future. Jenna is attracted to the fact that Ian turned out to be a creative person and she also begins to like the guy. Weld invites the company to a holiday party and says he got invitation cards for them. Since there are still a few hours left before the party, the guys decide to go relax in the home sauna. Jenna doesn't really like this idea, but she still decides to join her friends so as not to spoil everyone's mood. In her room, she takes off the chain, which still hangs her wedding ring, and puts it in a drawer with the antidepressants, without taking the pills. Taking several bottles of water with her, Jenna enters the sauna, Michael, Ren and Jan are already there. The guys have fun and drink, and the temperature in the sauna gradually rises. When it gets too hot, the company decides to go for a dip in the cold lake. Having cooled down, friends return back to the house. Jenna relaxes a little and sincerely tells her friend that she likes everything. The guys continue to get drunk, mixing beer with mead. Michael gets heavily drunk and starts hitting on his girlfriend. He asks Ren to come upstairs with him to make love. The girl refuses Michael because of which he becomes furious. He accuses his beloved of constantly babysitting Jenna, after which, staggering heavily, he goes deeper into the house. Frustrated, Ren returns to her friends in the sauna and complains to them about the guy. Suddenly, they hear some loud noise outside the doors, and decide that it is a drunken Michael trying to get attention. They try to shout to the guy, but no one answers them. Ian decides to go get his friend, to bring him back to his senses, but Ren stops him and says that her boyfriend just needs to get some sleep. Ren's mood is completely ruined, so she decides to go back to her room. She tries to open the door, but she can't. Yang comes to her aid and leans on the door with all his strength, but it does not give in. Because of what is happening, Jenna begins to have a panic attack. She hysterically asks Ian to let her out. The door does not have a lock and it could not swell from the heat, so the friends decide that it was Michael who decided to play an evil prank and lock them inside. Ren and Jan knock on the door and desperately try to get through to their friend but no one can hear them. Jenna begins to panic even more, remembering that before leaving, Weld left a joint for Michael. A stoned and drunk guy can most likely forget that he locked up his friends and then they will be stuck in a hot sauna all night. Uncle Weld won't come to their aid soon either, as he thinks they've all gone to the party. Convulsively swallowing bottled water, the trio tries to come up with a further plan of action. Jenna is afraid that due to lack of air they can get a heat stroke, after which they will begin to experience hallucinations and lose consciousness. Jan tries to calm the girls, but the situation becomes critical. The heat inside the sauna is rising rapidly, and the temperature control is outside, so the guys can't turn it off. Jenna notices a thermostat on the wall, but Jan tells her not to touch it, lest she turn the sauna into an oven. Thus, the flame in the gas furnace will periodically flare up and the guys will not be able to influence it in any way. Ren cannot sit still and tries to break the window in the door with improvised means, but the glass turns out to be too dense. Then Jan picks out a red hot stone from the furnace and spends the remaining supply of water to cool it, damaging his hands till they draw blood. The guy hits the window with all his might, but he only manages to scratch the glass. Eventually, the window breaks, letting cool air into the sauna. Friends eagerly swallow fresh air and desperately call for help, but still no one hears them. After recovering a little, Jan informs the girls that their door is blocked by a small ladder, so they cannot get out. The guy ties a stone to a towel and sticks it through the gap to move the ladder with it. But the stone is too small, and all attempts are in vain. Ren is sure that waiting for help from Michael and Weld is pointless and she comes up with the idea to break the thermostat that controls the temperature in the sauna. Ian and Jenna try to stop the girl, because a device failure can cause the temperature inside to rise to 247 degrees Fahrenheit and then they will all simply die from the heat. Emotionally, 
Ren tells her friend that she wants to get out, because she has something to live for. Breathing becomes more and more difficult. Jan has the idea to arrange a short circuit to turn off the heater. He unscrews the bulb and sticks the wet base of the ladle inside the base. Due to the ingress of water inside, the electricity in the sauna is cut down, and the guy gets electrocuted and loses consciousness. Now the Trinity was left in complete darkness, and the thermostat continues to work. The girls decide to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and apologize to each other for their behavior. Jenna remembers that before the accident, the girls were always together and wants to return to their former friendship. Jan comes to his senses, but he still doesn't have enough strength. Suddenly the guys hear Weld's dog Bo, barking outside the door. The guys cry and desperately call the dog to bring his master and help them escape. Blood flows from Jan's mouth and with every cry he loses the remnants of his strength. At the sound of barking, Michael comes from somewhere to the house and starts playing with the dog. Ren hears his voice and starts calling for her boyfriend, but her scream is overshadowed by the sounds of the salute that Weld launched. Bo runs back to Weld and tries to get his attention, but the man thinks his dog was just scared of the fireworks. Weld meets Michael outside the cabin and asks where his friends have gone. The guy tells how he smoked weed and passed out and when he woke up he decided that his friends had left him and went to the party by theme self. He went after them, but forgot his invitation card and was not allowed inside. Weld feels sorry for the poor guy and invites Michael to hang out with him in the backyard of his house. Meanwhile, the situation in the sauna becomes unbearable. The guys are running out of water and because of the heat, Ren becomes hysterical. She grabs the stone and goes to the thermostat, intending to finally break it. Jenna tries to calm her friend down before she makes a terrible mistake. During a verbal skirmish, Ren is again rude to her friend, for which she receives a stone on the head in response. The girl loses consciousness and does not move anymore. Jenna shudders from the knowledge that she could have killed her best friend. Jan unknowingly aggravates the situation and says that he is not completely sure that a broken thermostat will lead to an increase in temperature. Enraged, Jenna grabs the stone and smashes the damn thermostat because of her stressful state. Just as Jan feared, the temperature inside the sauna begins to rise to its highest point. Because of the terrible stuffiness, the guy gets a heat stroke and starts behaving insanely. He laughs out loud, wraps his arms around the gas boiler and gets severely burned. Jan does not stop there and continues to violently push the red-hot cauldron. Frightened by the actions of the distraught guy, Jenna desperately calls for help and becomes hysterical. Jan manages to move the cauldron, causing a gas explosion. From a shock wave the door opens and Jenna gets out outside. Barely moving her weak legs, she goes to the kitchen and drinks a bottle of water. Then the girl goes up to her room and takes out antidepressants from the nightstand. She sits down on the bed, exhausted, and tries to comprehend what happened. Suddenly, from somewhere far away, she hears the voice of Ren, who calls her. Gradually, the girl realizes that she is still locked up in the sauna, and her salvation is just an illusion. In front of her, she sees dead Jan, covered with stones. Ren regains consciousness and now it's Jenna's turn to take care of her friend. She drags her exhausted friend to the window in the door and supports her so that she can get some fresh air. The girl does not have enough strength to keep Ren in place and they both fall to the floor. Meanwhile, a stone Michael returns to the house. He still does not hear the desperate struggle of friends for survival, and calmly pours himself a drink. To keep Ren's body upright, the girl builds a suspension of towels and ties her friend to the door with it. Gas continues to flow from the broken gas boiler, and the girl makes desperate attempts to plug the hole. Finally, she finds the remains of a ladle among the wreckage and plugs the hole with it. Having spent the last of her strength to save her friend and fight the gas leak, Jenna loses consciousness. Michael wanders aimlessly from room to room. He lights another joint and falls asleep. The guy has a dream, how drunk he stumbled near the sauna and fell scattering household utensils around him. While trying to clean up after himself, he accidentally leaned the ladder against the sauna door and left. Because of the guy's attempts to go outside, the stairs rolled even lower, stuck between the door and the threshold. Weld finally returns home to find Ren in the sauna. The film ends on a tragic note. Jan's dead body is carried out of the house, while his uncle tries to explain to the police what happened. Michael sobs at the realization of what he did to his friends. Jenna and Ren are taken away by an ambulance. This time Jenna was able not only to survive, but also to save the life of a person dear to her.